ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் மைக்கேல் ரவினா அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ த்ரீ ஜீரோ ஒன் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் த யூனிட் இஸ் ஸ்டாக்ஸ் அண்ட் கியூஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் கியூ ஏடிடி கியூ டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் அ லீனியர் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் in which the operations are performed based on the FIFO that means first in first out principle in a queue data structure adding and removing of elements are performed at two different positions the insertion is performed at the position which is known as rear rear point and the deletion is performed at the position which is known as front this is a representation of Q here the rear front and rear points are marked then in a Q data structure the insertion operation is performed using a function called in Q and a deletion operation is performed by using the DQ inserting value into the Q in a Q data structure the in Q is a function in Q of function is a function it is used to insert a new element into the Q in a Q the new element is always inserted at the rear position and the in Q of function takes one integer value as a parameter and insert that value into the Q we can use the following steps to insert an element into the Q the step one is include check whether the Q is full if it is that means rear equal to equal to size minus 1 if it is full then display Q is full insertion is not possible if it is not full then increment the rear value by 1 rear plus plus and set Q of rear equal to value then deleting a value from the queue using the function dq function it is used to delete an element from the queue in the queue it is always deleted from the front position the dq of function does not take any value as parameter we can use the following step to delete the element from the queue first step is check whether the queue is empty suppose if it is empty then the queue is empty the deletion is not possible then if it is not empty mean then increment the front value by 1 then display the q as deleted element q of front as deleted element then check both front and rear are equal if it is true means set both front and rear to minus 1 that is front and rear value equal to minus 1 the next function is displays the element of a q we can use the following step to display the elements first step is check whether the queue is empty if it is empty then display the queue is empty if it is not empty then define an integer variable i and set i equal to front plus one then again the next step is that display the queue value and increment the i value by one repeat until the i value is equal to rear then queue using link list to implement Q using link list, we need to the set of the following things before implementing the operation. The first operator is include all the header file which are using the program. Then next define a node structure with two members and next. Then next step 3 is define two node parameters pointers that means front and rear and set both to null. Next step is implement the main method by displaying menu of list of operations and make suitable function call in the main method to perform the user selected operations. Okay, using the link list, we are going to discuss about NQ method. The NQ function is mainly used to insert an element into the queue. At first, at first, create a new node with the given value and set new node tends to next to null. Check whether the queue is empty. If it is empty, then set front equal to new node and rear equal to new node. If it is not empty, then set rear tends to next equal to new node and rear equal to new node this is the nq operation the next one is a dq dq means deleting the element from the queue and the first at first 
we have to check whether the q is empty or not if it is empty then display q is empty if it is not empty then define a node pointer temp and set it to friend after that set friend equal to friend tends to next and de delete the temporary value again the the free values go to the, the free spaces go to the free pool the next one is the display the display is mainly used to displaying the elements of the queue the first step is check whether the queue is empty if it is empty then display the queue is empty and terminate the function if it is not empty then define a node pointer temp and initialize with friend display temp tends to data to and it move to the next node repeat same until the temp reaches the rear finally display temp tends to data tends to null Thank you.